Hello everyone! Well, the second visa from the Olympic Games has arrived. Today we'll talk about the triumph of the Russian women's team, about their victory and gold medals. Also, with the previous video there were problems, so I'm a little delayed by the release, but I'll try to catch up. Well, the Olympic Committee blocks all videos related to the Olympics, so here too I try to bypass and re-upload all this as much as possible. In general, the work is not easy, so I really hope for your support in the comments and likes, and of course by subscription who has not done it yet. In the video we'll talk about what happened to the world leader and star Simona Biles, how the Russian national team making mistakes was able to win and in general what happened in the gymnastics arena on July 27th. In general, women's sport gymnastics in Tokyo is rich in news in informational broadcasts. We'll discuss them as they appear. Let's start with Oksana Chusavitina, a gymnast who performed at the 8th Olympics and announced her retirement while still in qualification. Unfortunately, she could not make it to the finals, but this is no reason to forget about her. As they say, history must be remembered and such athletes must be known by sight. Oksana Chusavitina turned 46 in June this year. For artistic gymnastics, it seems like an incredible age. During her career, she played for the USSR Germany on Uzbekistan. She became an Olympic champion, a world champion, a European champion and an Asian Games champion. And in general, during her career she won a huge number of awards of various dignity. In artistic gymnastics at the moment she is the only sportswoman who took part in eight Olympics, so since 1982 she has not missed a single one. Her career was closely related to her son, travel and his treatments, which is why she changed the countries that she represented at the Olympics. In an interview after the Games she said that she will definitely not return to take care of, that she will definitely not return to sports. She will take care of her family, child, and will develop sports in her country. Another high-profile scandal at the Tokyo Olympics was also associated with Oksana. Initially, she was supposed to be the standard barrier of her age and country, but at the last moment, without explanation, she was deprived of this honorary right. Oksana herself also cannot comment on the rumors and different guesses. The Olympic Committee of Uzbekistan commented with the concert of her health that she would allegedly have to stand on her feet for a long time and return to the hotel late, late which is rather a strange concern about the athlete, and perhaps this is not the case at all. But in any case, her career was amazing and she left a mark for a lifetime in the history of artistic gymnastics. Well, then there was an even greater scandal associated with Simona Biles and her replacement right during the competition. For starters, Simona Biles is the world star of women's artistic gymnastics, unsurpassed American gymnast, multiple Olympic champion, 90 times world champion. She set a world record with her victories, and she also won more mundane tournaments on several occasions. She is one of the most titled athletes in artistic gymnastics, and she was already moving away from sports, but still decided to return and go to her one more Olympics. Now Simona is 24 years old. She was born on March 14, 1997, in the USA. She took up artistic gymnastics from the age of 6, and in 2013 she made her debut at the adult level. In 2016, at the Olympic Games, she simply amazed me, and I admired her. In fact, as I have done so far, incredible smiling, strong strong and powerful. A doping scandal is associated with her. She takes a prohibited drug with the permission of doctors. According to a medical report, she has attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. For Russia, this is most likely sounds like just an excuse and something non-existent, but in America, this is taken more seriously. In general, she has problems with mental health, which apparently affected this Olympics. In the final of the team all around, Simona Biles, after the first unsuccessful execution of the world, was removed from the team all around. Round. For the gymnastics world, this is of course caused a renaissance. Since Simona scored high points and thanks to her, in part, the US team could compete for gold. But Simona and her coach chose health. During the speech, the reason for the withdrawal was the injury. Although later when the team all around it ended, Simona said that she had withdrawn due to psychological stress and enormous pressure on her. After an unsuccessful exercise, she simply did not want to go out and continue performing. It hurt her pride. In fact, if parallel with rhythmic gymnastics was carried out, it would be if Yana Kudryavtseva had started uh, stirred in Rio after losing in clubs and would not have appeared on the ribbon. Quite a controversial point, and I'm sure that here people will be divided into two camps. Someone will say what is right, that is psychological health, and that is more important, and someone on the contrary will reapproach and say that this is not sports. And of course, I'm interested to know your opinion on this issue. I'm waiting for you in the comments. 
Well, Simone herself said that it was very difficult for her to fight with her head. She was very worried about what others would say or think about her, especially on the internet. And she has begun struggling with her psychological health for a long time. So apparently this is more serious than it might seem from the outside. Well, my opinion is that Simona is a great fellow in any case, and to act or not is her choice. I will definitely not condemn for this, and I support her in any decision. Of course, I want to see her in the personal all around, but at the moment the information is that after a medical examination, Simon Biles withdrew from her personal all-around and Jay Carey will play instead. For the Russian national team, this withdrawal of course became an assistant for victory, and in the all-around I think it will become a chance for medals, although in qualifying for the Russian team was also in the lead. Well, the most joyful event for the fans of the Russian national team is of course the victory of women in the team all-around. After the removal of Simona, the girls of course could still con concede to the Americans, as they made mistakes in their exercises. But but without leader Simone Biles ended up snatching victory by a sizable three points gap. And just like in men's gymnastics, the Russian team last won in women's gymnastics in 1992. That was a united team, not a purely Russian one. And before that, the team only won the Soviet Union. So we can say that for the first time in history, the Russian team wins the Olympic Games as a team. And we, if you are straightforwardly documentary, then this is the Russian Olympic Committee. But in any case, for us, these are our athletes and they became Olympic champions. Well, according to the tradition of male gymnastics, let's talk each hero who contributed to this victory. Lilia Haimova was born on March 17, 1997 in Vladivostok. The most interesting thing is that Lila managed to get acquainted with rhythmic gymnastics at a young age, but her companion became closer. In 2012, the family moved to St. Petersburg, which allowed Lilia to train in good gyms and accordingly develop and improve faster. There was a period of 16 years when Lilia had back problems, but thanks to good mentors and doctors, they managed to stabilize her health and get into the second spot of the Russian national team. In 2016, she won the Russian Cup in floor exercises, and then a series of victories began in competitions of various sizes, including the World and European Championship. Well, this year she won Olympic gold in the team and is now an Olympic champion. Viktoria Listanova was born on May 12, 2005. Victoria is the youngest member of the Russian national gymnastics team. Since childhood, she has been engaged not only in artistic gymnastics, but also in synchronized swimming and rhythmic gymnastics. Synchronized swimming did not work on due to the small height. At the age of seven, she moved to Moscow to prepare for serious victories. In general, Victoria's career is very successful. Despite her young age, so far, for the most part, these are junior championship awards, since her age is still quite young. In 2021, she won the Russian championship in individual all around, managed to win medals in the European Championship and the National Cup. In fact, she was able to get to Tokyo thanks to the quarantine and the postponed Olympics for a year, and already at the age of 16, becoming an Olympic champion is not fate and luck. Vladislav Orazova, 16 years old gymnast, was born on August 14, 2004, in Rostov on Don. At her young age, she became twice the world champion among juniors. Success began in her career in 2017. On her account, the gold of the Russian Championship, International Tournaments, the European and World Championship and now in the collection is the Olympics medal. Unfortunately, Vladislava made mistakes in the multi-sport, but this did not stop her from becoming an Olympic champion. Well, the last and main star is Angelina Melnikova, the only gymnast left from the last Olympics. In Rio, she was the youngest and now the leader of the Russian national team. It is a gymnast who can pass all four apparatus equally well. Angelina was born on July 18, 2000 in Voronezh. At the age of 11, Angelina wanted to finish sports, but fate decreed otherwise. In 2016 in Rio, she became a silver medalist of the Olympics and performed with a damaged hip. An information scuttle was also associated with Angelina just three weeks before the Olympics. The author of the music that Angelina used for free exercise asked for $25,000 for its use, and therefore it was decided to change the music. Well, in the final of the team all around, the fate on the gold was also decided on the free, and Angelina closed the competition. Well, as Angelina said after the competition in an interview, they were inspired by the victory of the guys and decided that they could too, and in fact, showed it to the whole world. The USA team became the silver medalist and the British gymnast won the bronze. The team all around passed so steeply. There were still a lot of things ahead. On July 29th, a personal all around for women will take place. On August 1st, the girls will compete for medals in the vault on the uneven bars. On August 2nd, in the three and the third on the balance beam. 
Traditionally, look for all links in the Telegram channel, and the link is down in the description. Well, write in the comments which of the golden girls you like the most, and we'll see you very soon. Remember that I love you all, and for now, goodbye. The video was translated and dubbed by Sasha Sinica.